the film Train to Busan, it's a movie I really enjoyed the first time I watched it. And for a film like this about the zombie apocalypse, you know, zombies on train, it had me emotionally invested. This is, without question, one of my favorite zombie films. So, Train to Busan, it is a South Korean horror film about a bunch of zombies on a train, but to me, it's so much more than that. So, the main story is a father who's never been there for his youngest daughter. He may not be father of the year award, but when he takes his daughter to go see her mother, well, you know, all hell breaks loose, there's a zombie apocalypse. And our main characters have to survive the ordeal. You know, I love this film. When I first seen it, I was so emotionally overwhelmed, I cried at the end. No spoilers, but my goodness. I don't think they could have done this film any better. From the acting, from the directing, to the action scenes. Everything is done real well. If anything, I felt the emotional connection between this father and his daughter. He is not father of the year award in the beginning of the film. And you know, I wouldn't have cared about his character if he had died early on. But then, at the end, he is the loving father that he always wanted to be. And that's just so damn impressive, simply because of the story this film tells. And not just that, though, there is another guy on the film. He is a soon-to-be father. And at first, he's not really liking this father character. I will say is that for a South Korea film, this is some amazing work. Certainly... I would suggest you check this film out if you've never seen it because it is such a amazing story. So I want to give props to the actors in this film. They did an amazing job. There's even a character in this movie who is worse than the zombies. He does some really shitty things in this film all to survive. But as far as the father goes, you know, he, he doesn't have a strong connection with his daughter but at the end, the love... It's all there. I ain't going to spoil this film, but you have to check this movie out if you have not seen it. I mean, I don't think I ever had cried in a zombie film before I seen this one. And for years, I was hearing people talking about this film. So I checked it out quite some time ago. And then I rewatch it, I'm like, wow, this is some amazing cinematography. The acting is awesome. And everything is doing real well. I don't know. I mean, there is a lot in this film to digest. There is a lot of emotional connection here. There is a lot of storylines that are doing real well. And, you know, it's just all these people trying to survive the zombies. Interesting thing about these zombies, they move real fast. They can't see in, in the dark. But this is more than a zombie film. This guy easily been a C-rated DVD release. But thankfully it wasn't. You know, there is some heartfelt moments in this film. And at the end of this movie, you really will have watery eyes from just watching this story. This, to me, this is more than a zombie apocalypse film. It's a film about a father trying to be the best that he can to his daughter because he's worked so much. And he wasn't there a lot for her, you know, in her young life. I'm giving this film a 9 out of 10. Easily one of the best zombie films I've seen within the last few years. Nothing comes close to this. With all that happens, that transpires in this movie, the action, the emotional connection with the characters. This is certainly an extraordinary film. That's really not just about the zombie apocalypse. It's about the human emotions and everything that goes on in this film. Thankfully, this movie gets such high praise because this could have easily been a forgivable film because of the concept. But they took the relationship between the father and his daughter and they made it stronger by the end of the film. This is certainly some amazing cinema to say the least. And that's my review of the film Train to Busan. Alright, leave your comments down below in the section and let me know what you think about this film. Okay, this is Slim Guy 172 saying, Peace out.